Okay, dokey, okay, I know I look crazy. It's the equivalent to early in the morning for me. Okay, even though it's like a good almost 1 p.m. I'm in maybe the world's tiniest airport right now. But it's morning in about 30 minutes. I don't feel like I am conscious right now because I didn't have much sleep. I had to wake up at like nine o'clock this morning because I needed to get to the airport like two hours early. All this food is like tempting the heck out of me. My gate is B11, so I'm gonna go see what's popping over at gate B11. I'm out of breath, I don't know why I'm out of breath. Like I was totally fine before I turned on the camera and now I'm just like, I just ran a marathon, I can't breathe. I'm honestly trying to speed walk past all of these like shops, all these restaurants because I am not trying to spend no money. I just realized I'm broke and they're laughing at me. Wow, this place is so tiny. Like this is it guys. Like, <laughs> um, I'm just gonna chill out over here then. There's outlets, so score. So, the airport, am I right? <laughs> <laughs> I know I look crazy, I'm just like talking to myself over here. And honestly, nobody cares, nobody cares. I'm gonna take out my computer because, not because I have work to do, but because I'm obsessed with the show called The Good Place and I cry laughing sometimes watching it. I downloaded the entire season two and I have zero space left on my computer, but I'm gonna have a good time. Let me charge my computer up because I don't know whether or not there's gonna be like outlets on the airplane. There's a whole bar, like a whole club fiesta happening in the middle of this airport. I don't understand drinking in airports. I mean, I kinda do because, listen, like airports get to be really draining and it's like, you might as well just like, <laughs> bottoms, up. bottoms up, you know what I mean? Go ahead and plug this in. Yep, I have my earphones. It's gonna be a good time. I want you all to see my view right now. Look at how cute this is. Some mountains, a helicopter over there. Look at that. Why am I acting like I've never seen a helicopter in my life before? I haven't had any Soviet flying off the hinges at this point. We're just gonna take it slow. Okay, this pasito. And we're going to um just chill. And then some time passed. So they are calling um my flight sisters. And nothing's going out. Um so again, if you want to go ahead and have a um have a seat, um and if you don't think that um you're gonna wanna go. Then see us here and we can see about rebooking you tomorrow. Tomorrow, But as far as how this is going to affect connections, we won't know because um, if Dallas is on a ground stop, nothing is going in or going out at this time. So well, that's awkward. I literally don't even know what to do right now. Okay, so I have to call Allocate Naturals and let them know that <laughs> my flight, they just stopped it. Like They were just like, okay, well, sorry guys. I have to like make some phone calls right now. Did y'all hear that? That was crazy. See, there's this hurricane, okay, Hurricane Florence. She's like doing a whole bunch of crazy stuff right now over on the East Coast. Dallas, where I'm flying into, where my connection is, is having some troubles too. They're a little conflicted over there with the weather. And so they have a ground stop. Apparently that, I guess, that just means that nothing can go in or no no plans can leave from Dallas. I'm just, is that one of those like charging pads? Do y'all see that? The future. I don't know what to do. I'm so tired. I have a deep sense of tiredness in my body right now. And I'm also tangled up in all my... Oh, she's not answering. I mean, they're so busy right now. They're planning a whole convention. Finally boarding. Um, we're like leaving like almost an hour late. So we'll see how this goes. And we're all rushing because we all have like 25 30 minutes uh, to get to our next flight. So let me fix my hair real quick. Bye. Thank you. Bye. It's a huge airport. Okay, 
so at this point we're gonna have to wait for the sky skyline but i have literally not even 20 minutes this is america don't catch you slipping up look how i'm living up I made it. <laughs> uh, everybody's still just waiting around, so um, I think I got here on time. So I am confusion. Cool beans. Okay, boarding the second flight. It's all good in the neighborhood. Okay, guys, so I'm gonna show you my bedroom for the night. Look at how cute. This will be where I'll sleep. Your boy finally made it to Tampa. This airport is cute, I guess. I haven't eaten anything all day. It's 11.45, y'all. P.M. I secured my bag, so she's over there. She's looking cute. Oh. oh my god, guys. Okay, so I finally made it. Let's have a little chit-chat. Let's have a chit-chat. Oh my god. Okay, so I'm finally here. Okay, I'm alive. Okay, because a bad bee can't die. You know what I mean? And I am so hungry. I ordered a pizza on, on Grubhub. And I don't even eat pizza. I am lactose intolerant, but that's the only thing that's open this late at night. There's a place called Mama's Pizza. I also ordered french fries and onion rings because I had to meet the $15 delivery minimum gotta love a good delivery minimum i vow that one day when i become president of the united states that i will end delivery minimums anyway it's one what time is it it's 11 20, no it's not it's not 11 27. it's like 1 30. that clock is wrong there's a microwave over there and it's definitely not oh no it says oh my god i'm blind it definitely says 1 27 p.m i'm tripping and the food apparently is going to be ready until at least 2 30 so this is ridiculous that gives me one two three four not enough time to sleep um and i need sleep <laughs> tomorrow i'm going to be around a ton of people and uh for a long time, a long period period of time. time. so i'm gonna need to rest but i'm also so hungry that i can't sleep like <laughs> help me i'll talk to you guys when i get my pizza okay goodbye do you ever worry about your weight um I don't understand the question. It's the next day. Okay, so we are headed. Let me take off these glasses. I can't really see. Also, I have to go. My Uber is downstairs. Okay, but let's actually, let's just leave. Okay, everything's good. Okay, everything's good in the neighborhood. We are off to the Natural Hair Expo, to the Fabu Natural Hair Expo. Oh, let me get my... I just don't want the like house cleaner or the housekeeper to um like I don't know mistake any of my stuff for trash because I know I'm like everything that I own looks like trash. So I'm just gonna put all my stuff in a pile and hope that you know everything's safe when I get back. So I have everything that I need. The Uber should be waiting downstairs. I did my hair in these two like pigtails. Hopefully they stay cute in this humidity. I don't know what y'all be up to out here in Florida, but uh, this humid humidity ain't working for me. Okay, so I'm looking for a Nissan Altima. Hey, your boy is here. I'm just in the shade because it is sweaty and like humid out here. But look, it's so cute. They have a little booth where you can take pictures and stuff. People are walking in. Somebody named Anthony is coming to meet me outside to like escort me through. But look, there's so many people already with natural hair just walking in. We got young ones, we got older ones. <laughs> oh girl, this tree about to mess up my hair trying to sabotage me. Wow, this is cute. Hey. We are here at the Fabu Natural Hair Expo. We're here with Marilyn. Say hey, Marilyn. Yeah. Oh, wait, say it again. Hey, hey. This is Marilyn. We've been chatting a little bit. We're gonna go to the participant lounge. Yes, we get you some water, and then we'll go in ahead and talk to the people, have a good time. You got your panel coming up, honey. So right now, we just finished the Kids and Kink panel, where there was about seven or eight kids that were on the panel talking about being natural, enjoying themselves. We had okay. Lexi on there talking. Styling demo as well from Natural Trendsetter. Up next, you know who. Hey, you blogger panel. There's a meet and greet as well, right? Yep, meet and greet. There's a meet and greet, so if you didn't come, you missed out. You gotta come next year. Will, nice to meet you. We are so big fans of you. Have you seen Catherine yet? I haven't seen Catherine. Oh, okay, no, I haven't seen Catherine. Really? Hello, Will. Hi. 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 Hi
take a picture real quick. I found some lovely. Yeah. Yeah. It's lit already. See, it's lit already. Do some special effects on her. Miss Keisha. Miss Keisha. Hi, Chelsea. <laughs> You're going to be here for a while? Yeah, we're going to be here all day. We're okay. We came to watch you. We came to be here for a while. We're going to be here all day. The owner of Allocate Natural. She's so pretty. Yes. <laughs> Like doing my hair, just like sitting there and taking care of my hair, like deep conditioning, deep 
conditioning my blackness. Yes. Look at that shirt, y'all better buy all y'all. <laughs> yes. Sometimes we are our own worst enemy, and sometimes we feel like we're not doing good enough, but you forget that other people are watching you and that they actually appreciate what you're doing. There's, there's times where I've been like, you know, I posted something yesterday that only got, you know, 500 views, and I'm used to getting way more than that, so I'm feeling like maybe I'm not doing my best. You have to, like she said, stay consistent. Sometimes you really don't want to give up, but you really have to assess your, your passion and you have to assess like your purpose. Why are you doing this in the first place? Have these dreams, you have this passion, you have this purpose, but you also got to be practical, okay? So if you need to get you a job at Planet Fitness and work well, so that you can feel your purpose and your passion, and that's what you need to do. At one point, I was actually a full-time student, worked full-time, and then was still putting out content. Um, usually the way that I make it work is when I wake up, I'm like, okay, so let me at least start part of my video and then I'll try and put it into some of the style that, uh, you know, I can get through the day with, like, make it day with. And then at night, I'll maybe do like a reveal where I take my hair down or something like that. Time management is, is important. So I guess I'll give advice on how I did YouTube with going to school full time and I had two jobs. So in college, I took five credit, I took five classes, full-time college student. I worked at West Hill. I would drive back to Orlando on the weekends to work at University and get my free tickets. I would come back, go to school at 8 a.m. that Monday, like nothing happened. And then that night, I would record. So you kind of just got to just do it. <laughs> we have no other choice. Some people look at YouTube like, oh my God, I hate that I went to college. I get that all the time. You post stuff on YouTube, you do hair and all this other stuff. I'm mad that I got this degree. No, that's still good. You have it. You pay for it, you might as well use it when you want to. So there's nothing wrong with having multiple sources of income. So that's what I do now. You can't really do anything about internet trolls. I always want to be with the people who just see your shine and it illuminates all of their insecurities and they see things that you what they wish they could be. Just expect that because people in real life talk about you. Best believe on Instagram, they're going to talk about you worse. So keep that in mind. To give away. And we are actually going to award this gift set to the very first person in our team. Over here selling jewelry, clothes, it is a VIP lounge, there's a daycare, like you can drop your kids off for like two hours or like <laughs> leave and have fun and come back. Okay, I'm gonna walk around a little bit too. Hey! We're just out here having a good time. Alec, hey, hey. We got Honey Baby Naturals over here. Oh my god, it's Ida. What the heck? Cherie, nice to meet you. You wanna say hi? Hi. Hey, you too. Hey, America, that's a pretty name. Hey, this is America. Hi. Hey. Oh, you sell bath bombs. Yay. Everything is from farm products. So it's everything to give you that me time experience. And she got some sugar stuff, y'all. Yes, that's the mango, coconut, lime, coffee. This is the mango. Mango. Okay, I'm definitely getting this one. We got purses and jewelry. All kinds of just like products out here. They got yeah. beer care. I got your shampoo. Listen. Yeah, we got the uh, pomade for the low cut guys. All right, so tell them what, the, what, what this company is. What we is are the Nail Organics. We are a natural hair care company. We do for men and women We're from St. Petersburg, Florida. Please support www.thenailorganics.net. I appreciate it. A lot of different businesses that I have never like heard of, but I'm excited that they're here because they get to showcase all of what they got. Okay, we got people over here getting their hair pressed and laid. Follow us at HBJ Glam. HBJ Glam. What is hair HBJ products? Glam? Okay. Hair by Jara. Hair by Jara. Right here. Hey. She's doing a demo on, on okay. her silk We got a silk press going yeah. on over here. <laughs> Just say hi. Silk and AR. Which is a heat protectant, but it also 
just getting a massage back there. This is a massage part. Girl, this, you can get a massage, okay? We over here at the Sip and Paint. I'm gonna come and do this. I should actually just do this right now. Get ready, y'all. Look at this. Hey. hey. Chocolate Kings and Pearls. Okay. Our number one product is our Cocoa Cream Clay Wash. Okay. It is a three in one powerhouse product, cleanses, detangles, and conditions the hair. And uh, we love a three in one. Yes, we love Okay, a we love a, We love a, Exactly. So, for real. So, I would love to uh, gift you with one of our Cocoa Cream Clay Washes. You ain't gotta do that, man. <laughs> I'm Yolanda. Yolanda. Hey, Yolanda. What's up, Yolanda? <laughs> Where can the people find you, Yolanda? Or do you want the people to find you? Just find it at Coach Jolie. Okay. Uh, fitness stuff. Okay. She works with um, a brand called Curls, made for the She works with Curls, y'all. Okay. Here goes the daycare. Okay, they got a daycare on Texas. Eden Body Works. Y'all know Eden. Eden has some, has some good stuff, and they also have, um, I think they have like a free product that I can get over in the VIP lounge. Oh, they got discounts, y'all. They got discounts. You want some hard? Listen, this is what we need out here. We got swimming caps in the door, y'all. Hey! 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 cry on the YouTube right now. I told y'all I ate pizza, like I ordered pizza. Well, there's, that's what it is now. <laughs> Ow, that hurts. Okay, so, um, excuse me. <laughs> it is currently 8.22 p.m. There's a little clock over here. It's kind of looks like it's from 19, uh, 29. It's 8.22 and I got back from the Natural Hair Expo, the Fabu Natural, or the Fab U <laughs> Natural Hair Expo. No, around six maybe I got back and I am like, I'm so, Tired, y'all. I stayed up till four o'clock in the morning because I had to wait for the pizza man. I had to wait for the pizza man. I was watching um, episodes of The Good Place. Oh, my eyes are itching. Anyway, oh my god, my camera's dying. All right, let me change the battery and I'll be right back. I wish I could have showed you all like me switching the battery out for the nut for another one because I love showing unnecessary things in my vlogs. So yeah, I got back not too long ago and I am so tired. Like I said, I stayed up till four o'clock AM watching episodes of The Good Place, waiting for the pizza man who came like exactly at four o'clock. So I literally ate maybe like three pieces of pizza and I also ordered onion rings with some like weird sauce that was really good. And then uh, also french fries, which I ate a whole literal box of french fries and I don't know how. Anyway, the Fabio Natural Hair Expo was literally so fun. I was actually, thoroughly like enjoying myself. There were so many different sort of like booths, homegrown natural hair companies that were selling products. And it was just, it wasn't just like natural hair products. There was also jewelry, clothes, sip and paint, where you got to like paint and drink wine, which is amazing. What? Sign me up three times. I really wanted to do the paint and sip, so maybe I'll come back and do that. That would be so much fun. That'd be a good video idea. No. Point is, there was just so many different things to get into. The best part of the entire my entire fab you natural hair expo experience it was meeting all of you i did not know so many of you were in this area in like tampa a lot of you have like beautiful hair it's kind of ridiculous we had braids we had twists we had froze i also got a lot of free stuff come with me to see it it's right here i have all this stuff over here that was my miniature product haul that lasted way too long. Shout out to Rochelle Graham, founder of Elegant Naturals, and her entire team. So conclusion, I had a really great time at the Fabu Natural Hair Expo. Tonight, hopefully, I'll be able to go, like I'm very thirsty right now, and there's nothing but coffee. There's coffee, but I don't really drink coffee. I also just ate like so much pizza that I kind of want to like just sit and like poop. <laughs> What if I just like kept the camera rolling and just went to sleep right here? Could you imagine just watching me sleep for hours? My camera would obviously cut off, but you know. Press.
prank. That was a prank. Hi vlog. Hi vlog. Hey. <laughs> Y'all are so funny. Hi from England. Hi. Hey. Hi vlog. Imp, imp. Yeah, yeah. Keep it coming, keep it coming, keep it coming. Hey, y'all gonna be in the vlog so y'all can check this out. Closing this live stream soon because we've been here for hours and hours and hours. It's almost been four, five, six, seven hours that we've been live streaming. I'm so sorry. Um, That's it for today's vlog. I should change the effects, right? Yeah. No, that's not good. We'll do another one. Oh, this one's cute. Okay, all right. That's it for today's vlog. I know it ended kind of weirdly. I had a lot of fun at the Fab You Natural Hair Expo. Okay, next year, hopefully they do it again next year. It's an annual convention. So y'all better, you know, gear up to get your tickets. The tickets were super cheap. They were like 10 bucks. Um, and the VIP wasn't that much more than that. So I say it's absolutely worth it to like go and check it out and have fun. Hopefully I'll get to go back next year. And hopefully you all enjoyed this video, okay? If you did, definitely go ahead and give it a big old thumbs up. Oh my god, my computer. <laughs> my computer is literally falling apart, guys. If you wanna stick around and be my friend and be my homie, go ahead and click that subscribe button. I would love it so much, okay? Also, give this video a like if you wanna see more vlogs, okay? Let's let's give it up for the vlogs, okay? <laughs> That's enough for that, okay. Oh my god. You can go ahead and follow me on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, and Snapchat. And yeah, I'll see you all back here real soon for another episode of Will on a Whim. But until then, bye. Wait, wait, wait. Bye.